What if I was to tell you that in the last seven days, a small TikTok account with just over 4,000 followers managed to make minimum $23,000 take home commission as a TikTok shop affiliate? Not so long ago, that would have been very hard to believe. But in actual fact, I have got proof of someone who's done exactly just that. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what they've done exactly who the creator is, where I found that information, what video they used, what their TikTok profile is. So come close, but not too close. And let's jump straight into my screen. My name is Victor and welcome to Creator Bug, where we help you create content, ditch your nine to five and live the life that you want. So one weird question from me, I am a coffee man. Do you prefer coffee or do you prefer tea? Comment down below so I can check how many people are similar to me. Getting the first question out of the way, where did I find this example and where can you find it to? The answer is simple. I've gone on to a data analysis tool called Kalo Data and all this website does is provide you with information on TikTok shop in terms of what's trending on TikTok shop, who the top creators are currently, TikTok shops that are leading, who they are currently, what are the top videos that are generating the most revenue across all different categories and what are the top live streams as well. So this site works both for creators so you can understand and make some informed decisions about what to promote going forward based on what's working right now and what's about to start trending and also for new TikTok shops for sellers. If you're wondering who to work with, what creators are performing the best, who should you offer to send your samples to and who you should be targeting what niche is the best one to be targeting all those sorts of questions it's a really good tool both for creators and affiliates and also for tiktok shop sellers i have linked a link into kalo data in the description it is slightly pricey but if you use my link you will get 10% on top of any offers they do on the website as well, which I think is really good to get started. And they do offer a free trial as well that you can use to get used to navigating the tool and seeing how it works. Now, in terms of where Kalo data is available, it covers the United States and all these other countries that you can see on the drop down here. Now, this doesn't mean TikTok shop is only available in these countries. It's obviously available in more countries than this. However, this is as far as Kalo data goes for now. They are working on adding the United Kingdom as well, which is where I am. And they've advised that that should be ready early in Q2 of 2024. So looking forward to that. The one that we're using right now is the United States version, as you can see at the top there. That is where the information comes from and that is where you can go and take a look as well. In terms of the next question, how did I find the specific creator that I'm talking about that made a minimum of $23,000 take home commission by being a small TikTok shop affiliate with just over 4,000 followers. So what I did is go on to the creator tab. So as you can see at the top, you've got different tabs there. You've got category, shop, creator, product, video, and live stream. So I've gone on, this is the Explorer page, by the way, that we're on now. This is the main sort of Explorer page where all this information is brought together. So what I've done is gone onto the creator tab. And within that tab, the creator that I'm talking about is seventh down there. So I've clicked onto that creators page here. And as you can see, this is the creator in question. So they're called Stella underscore trend finds on the top right hand corner. You can see what their TikTok handle is if you want to check out their TikTok account. So by clicking there, that will take you onto their TikTok profile, which is this one here. And as you can see, they have got 4,500 followers. So not a lot of followers and not a lot of likes as well. But they have already got some videos that have gone crazy viral. And these videos have got TikTok shop links attached to them and this revenue amount you can see down here so that is the creator they've not been live for that long willing to contact that's targeted more towards shops if shops are wondering whether they can contact this person to work with them or not but if we go a bit further down we've got the core metrics session section here as you can see there's a some bits of information here that's the total revenue that they've generated within this seven day period so within the last seven days you can break it down by yesterday you can break it down by 30 days as well but we've focusing on the last seven days here so overall in revenue they generated 230,000 and some change now this is the overall revenue this is not what's going into their pockets this is what they've sold on behalf of various shops when people clicked on the links in their videos and paid money to place orders 
all of that in the last seven days has totaled to this amount. They've not done any live streams or if they have, they've not generated any sales with any live streams. Um, this revenue has mainly come from TikTok videos. So by recording and publishing videos as you normally do on TikTok. And we can see here that they focused on products that are pretty highly, well, some people consider them highly priced as well because on average, they cost $46.00. 18 so these are not your low cost products and so they focus on products that are going to that are going to generate them a lot of commission as you can see here if i go into their tiktok profile the stuff they're talking about and um, this one that's gone madly viral here is a an arch mirror uh, and that's one of the biggest products that they've managed to promote but again this is an average some of them will be lower than this some of them will be higher but that just gives you an idea of roughly on average how much the products that they promote costs and some other bits of information there you've got video views overall over the last seven days and you've got new followers as well again followers don't matter that much when it comes to tiktok shop all tiktok shop cares about is how much revenue you're generating and they reward you with views if they are seeing that your account has got a product that is generating some traction so that is the profile and if we go a bit further down we can see they've promoted a number of different products here mainly this arch mirror seems to be their cash cow in fact it's the most sold product for them in the last seven days they generated a video they made a video that's 16 seconds long in order to make uh, 208,000 uh, and some change in sales now in terms of accessing this video to literally find out what they say in this video, what songs they're using, what hashtags, what the script is, and generally how the video comes across. So you can break that down and see if you can replicate it. All you do on Kalo Data is just click on the video and that'll take you onto the video page. And this even give, goes as far as giving you, obviously, the video link. You can see there. You can see how long the video is. You can see when it was published. You can see that no record or advertising placement was found. So this wasn't advertised. There was no financial push behind this video. This was just organic reach that allowed it to gain as many views as it has. You can also see the tags that they used on the video on TikTok right here. You can also see the music that they used. You can also see, you can also download the video script as well. So you can word for word, see what they said in this 16 second video, which generated them 208,000 and some change in revenue um, for the shop that they sold for. So it's crazy what you can find out using this tool. Now to circle back into how we worked out the commission that that we've mentioned. So I said earlier that they generated around 23,000 in commissions to take home. That is quite simply 10% off this amount right here. Now, if you've been on TikTok shop as an affiliate for some time, you'll know that at minimum shops will give you 10% commission on products that you promote. That is because shops want you to promote as much of their products as possible. So that's why the minimum is around 10%. Now, it's most likely she received more than this. I'm just being conservative here and showing the minimum as Kalo Data does not give you the percentage of commission that they received for these products. However, you can easily go into TikTok shop, search for the products and see how much commission those shops are offering. So in the last seven days alone, commission wise, $23,000 if she received an average of 10% commission on her products. Now, we know that once shops start seeing traction on your video, once they start getting a ton of orders, they can very easily raise the commission. So if she would have gotten around 20% commission on average, this is how much she would have made in the last seven days. Again, this is just take home commissions going in her pockets at 20% commission and it goes higher. Now I've seen commission that's being offered go as high as even 50 to 60 percent sometimes you have to remember this all depends on how desperate the shop is to get you to generate sales for them and if they are they'll give you a higher commission or if they're seeing that your video is going viral because they want to try and sell all of their stock they'll raise the commission to keep you pushing your videos out in order to sell more of those products isn't that insane Four thousand followers in the last seven days 230,000 and some additional change on top of that in all these products that they've sold. And that's simply by switching on record on their phone and promoting products as a TikTok shop affiliate. Absolutely insane.